Hello and welcome, dear viewers, to my channel. Today, we're embarking on a journey into the world of finance and wealth building. Whether you're just starting to explore the exciting realm of investing or you're looking to deepen your understanding of financial strategies, you've come to the right place. Investing can be a powerful tool for securing your financial future and achieving your goals, but for beginners, it can also be a maze of confusing options and terminology. That's why we've put together this comprehensive guide to investing for beginners. In this video, we're going to break down the complex world of investments into clear, manageable steps. By the end of this guide, you'll have a solid understanding of the fundamentals, strategies, and practical steps to kickstart your journey as an investor. So, whether you're saving for a comfortable retirement, a dream home, or your children's education, this video is your one-stop resource to help you get started on the path to financial success. We'll be covering everything you need to know, from the very basics to setting clear financial goals, building a diversified portfolio, understanding different investment vehicles, managing risk, and much more. Investing isn't just about making money, it's about making informed choices that align with your unique financial objectives. It's about empowering yourself with the knowledge and tools to secure your financial future. So, grab a notebook and pen, as we're about to demystify investing, step by step. Let's dive into our full guide on how to invest for beginners and set you on the path toward financial empowerment and success. What is investing? At its core, investing is the practice of putting your money to work in various assets or ventures with the expectation of generating a profit or return on your investment over time. These assets can take many forms, ranging from traditional investments like stocks and bonds to alternative assets such as real estate, commodities, or even starting your own business. The primary objective of investing is to make your money grow. Instead of letting your hard-earned cash sit idle in a savings account where it may earn minimal interest, investing offers the potential for significant wealth accumulation. Investing serves several key purposes. Wealth growth, it's a means to increase your wealth and achieve financial goals. Inflation protection, investments have the potential to outpace inflation, ensuring your purchasing power remains strong. Financial security, investing can provide a source of income in retirement or during financial emergencies. Investing isn't a one-size-fits-all approach. The choices you make regarding where and how to invest should align with your unique financial situation, risk tolerance, and objectives. It's important to recognize that investing inherently carries some level of risk, a topic we'll delve into shortly. Step 2. Risk and Return As an investor, understanding the concepts of risk and return is essential. These two elements are intertwined and have a profound impact on your investment decisions. Risk and return. Risk refers to the level of uncertainty or the possibility of losing some or all of your investment. Different types of investments come with varying degrees of risk. For example, stocks typically carry higher risk due to their price volatility. They also offer the potential for substantial returns. Bonds, generally considered lower risk, as they involve lending money to governments or corporations in exchange for regular interest payments, and the return of the bonds face value at maturity. However, bond prices can fluctuate. Real estate involves the risk of property values declining or market fluctuations. It can also provide rental income and potential for appreciation. In the world of investing, there's often a trade-off between risk and return. Investments with higher potential returns usually come with greater risk, while lower-risk investments typically offer more stability but may yield lower returns. Your risk tolerance plays a crucial role in determining which investments are suitable for you. Your risk tolerance reflects your comfort level with the possibility of losing money in exchange for the potential of earning higher returns. 
It's influenced by factors such as your financial goals, time horizon, and emotional temperament. A key principle of investing is to align your investments with your risk tolerance to avoid making impulsive decisions during market fluctuations. Step 3. The Power of Compounding Now, let's explore a concept that's often described as one of the most potent forces in investing, the power of compounding. The power of compounding Compounding is the process by which your investments earn returns, and those returns, in turn, generate more returns. In simple terms, it's the interest on interest that can significantly grow your wealth over time. To illustrate the power of compounding, let's consider an example. Suppose you have $1,000 to invest. In the first year, you earn a 10% return on your investment. That means your $1,000 grows to $1,100. In the second year, if you again earn a 10% return, it's not just on your initial $1,000. It's on the $1,100, resulting in $1,210. As you can see, your returns are now based on the higher amount, leading to exponential growth. The key takeaway here is that the earlier you start investing, the more time your money has to benefit from compounding. Even modest contributions to your investments can grow into substantial sums over time. Understanding the concepts of investing, risk, return, and the power of compounding provides you with a solid foundation for your journey into the world of investments. These principles will guide your decisions as you build and manage your investment portfolio. Setting Clear Financial Goals Investing without a clear purpose is like embarking on a journey without a destination in mind. To make the most of your investments, you need to define your financial goals. These goals serve as your guiding light, helping you make informed decisions and stay on track. So, let's begin by understanding how to set and prioritize your financial goals. 1. Short-term versus long-term goals Short-term goals typically span one to three years and might include saving for a vacation, purchasing a new car, or covering unexpected expenses. Long-term goals have a horizon of several years or even decades. These could include saving for retirement, buying a home, funding your child's education, or achieving financial independence. 2. Be specific and quantifiable. Your goals should be specific and quantifiable. Rather than saying, I want to save money, set a clear target like, I want to save $10,000 for a down payment on a home in three years. 3. Prioritize your goals. Not all goals are equally important. Prioritize them based on their significance and urgency. Consider which goals you want to achieve first and how they align with your overall financial plan. 4. Consider risk tolerance. Your risk tolerance plays a role in goal setting. Short-term goals may allow for more conservative investments, while long-term goals might involve higher risk, potentially higher reward strategies. 5. Emergency Fund Before diving into investment goals, ensure you have an emergency fund in place. This fund covers unexpected expenses, such as medical bills or car repairs, without the need to dip into your investments. 6. Regularly Review and Adjust As life circumstances change, your goals may evolve. Regularly review your financial goals and make adjustments when needed. Examples of Financial Goals Now, let's look at some common examples of financial goals. Retirement One of the most significant long-term goals is retirement planning. Determine when you want to retire and how much income you'll need to maintain your desired lifestyle. Education Saving for your children's education is another crucial goal. Consider the costs of tuition, books, and living expenses when setting this goal. Homeownership, if owning a home is on your radar, calculate the down payment and monthly mortgage payments required to make this dream a reality. Debt repayment, reducing and eliminating high-interest debt, such as credit card debt or student loans, can free up funds for other goals. 
Travel, short-term goals like taking a dream vacation can provide motivation and reward for your hard work. Emergency fund, building an emergency fund to cover three to six months of living expenses provides financial security. Remember that your goals should be personal and tailored to your unique circumstances. Your financial goals give you a reason to save and invest wisely, so take the time to define them clearly. Building a diversified investment portfolio. A well-structured investment portfolio is like a balanced diet for your finances. It's designed to spread your investments across various asset classes to manage risk and achieve your financial goals. Diversification is one of the key principles of successful investing, and here's how you can achieve it. 1. Asset Classes Your portfolio should include a mix of different asset classes, each with its own risk and return characteristics. The primary asset classes are Stocks represent ownership in a company and have the potential for high returns but also higher volatility. Bonds, debt securities that pay periodic interest and return the principal at maturity. They are generally considered lower risk than stocks. Real estate, investments in physical properties or real estate investment trusts, REITs, can provide diversification and income. Cash or cash equivalents, investments like money market funds or certificates of deposit offer stability but typically lower returns. 2. Risk Tolerance Your asset allocation should align with your risk tolerance. If you have a higher tolerance for risk, you may allocate a larger portion of your portfolio to stocks. Conversely, if you're risk-averse, you may lean more toward bonds and cash equivalents. 3. Diversification within asset classes Within each asset class, consider diversification. For example, in the stock market, diversify by investing in different industries, sectors, and geographic regions. This can help mitigate risks associated with the performance of individual stocks. 4. Rebalancing Regularly review and rebalance your portfolio. Market fluctuations can cause your asset allocation to drift from your target. Rebalancing involves buying or selling assets to bring your portfolio back in line with your desired allocation. 5. Dollar Cost Averaging Consider using dollar cost averaging to invest consistently over time. This strategy involves investing a fixed amount of money at regular intervals, regardless of market conditions. It can help reduce the impact of market volatility. 6. Risk Adjusted Returns Aim for risk-adjusted returns, that is, maximizing returns while minimizing risk. A well-diversified portfolio seeks to achieve this balance. 7. Investment Horizon Your investment horizon also plays a role in your asset allocation. If you have a longer time frame, you may be able to tolerate more short-term market fluctuations. Example Portfolio Allocations here are a few sample portfolio allocations based on different risk profiles. Aggressive portfolio. 80% in stocks. 15% in bonds. 5% in real estate or alternative investments. Moderate portfolio. 60% in stocks. 30% in bonds. 10% in real estate or alternative investments. Conservative portfolio. 40% in stocks, 50% in bonds, 10% in cash or cash equivalents. Remember that the right allocation for your portfolio depends on your individual circumstances, risk tolerance, and financial goals. It's a good idea to consult with a financial advisor or do thorough research to determine the best mix for you. Diversifying your investment portfolio can help spread risk and enhance the potential for consistent returns. In our next segment, we'll explore different investment vehicles, including stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs, and more. Stay tuned for a closer look at these options and how they can fit into your diversified portfolio. Remember, investing is a long-term endeavor and patience is key.
Your journey as an investor will have its ups and downs, but staying committed to your financial goals and remaining informed will lead you to success. If you found this guide helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with others who might benefit, and subscribe to my channel for more valuable content on personal finance, investing, and wealth building. We encourage you to take action, begin your investment journey, and put the knowledge you've gained into practice. Your financial future is in your hands, and with careful planning and smart decisions, you can achieve your dreams and secure your financial well-being. Thank you for joining us on this educational journey, and we wish you the very best in all your investment endeavors. May your investments flourish, and your financial goals become a reality. Stay tuned for more insightful content, and until next time, take care and happy investing.